Namaskar, Maya. Namaskar, Archana. Maya, my question today um, is a little bit of a situation that I'm experiencing and I want to get your guidance on this. And this is again um, relating to same soul connection that I've been experiencing. It has led me down um, a path of spiritual discovery and also has led me down a path of self-realization and understanding of many things. There is also this understanding that there needs to be the surrender of this connection, but <laughs> there is also this desire to be connected with this connection, which is again so strong and magnetic. So how does one deal with this, almost a duality in this sense, and how does one deal with that desire, which is almost like a soul desire, or is it ego, and how does one traverse this plane? So in the current scenario in the world, there are a few phenomena that are showing up, which are pushing human beings towards self-realization. One of these phenomena is panic attacks and anxiety. Another one is Kundalini disturbances. And another one is the same soul phenomenon. So this is not something that is born out of the minds of love-crazed people. It is a real phenomenon. It's very, very hard to describe this phenomenon with the words we have at our disposal. One can speak of a same soul, that is a soul that is actually in two different bodies. And these two people are meant to each one do their thing. But the one that is perhaps a bit further in the Self-realization process realizes that it needs to be one with that other person. The only problem in that whole view is that it is already one with that other person. There is no separation. That separation is a conceptual separation. It is not a real separation because they are connected always. And the challenge, in this case to you, is to let go completely of all thoughts and attempts to get into physical proximity with the other person. That is the only chance you have for that person to actually come towards you. Because the more you desire, and the more you focus on that person, the more they will run away, because life is trying to bring you to Self-realization. So, if you take the time to sit with yourself and focus inward to the Soul, and sit in the strength of that Soul, sit in the knowledge, in the experience, in the humility towards the Soul, you will automatically allow that material, the materiality of that person to move towards you. I don't know what other way to put it. It's a very, very powerful and amazing way to end that suffering. Because it's known to drive people almost insane over years and years and years. And it is only when you release completely, and not just because you want it to happen, but you have to release completely, because there is no separation. It is a conceptual thing, that separation. Sit for a moment, and feel the Soul within, 
and feel that person is there within because that person is the it's like the other polarity, it's the other end of the soul. One end is sitting in you and the other end is sitting in the other person and it's connected. Very, very crucial. And please, please, I plead with you actually, do not allow thoughts of that person to take over. Do not try to contact that person. Do not try to message and write and this and that. Life will bring you two together if you go inward. If, if it doesn't happen, the only reason why it won't happen is because that is not a same soul. And most people know when it is the same soul, they just know it. So it's a rare phenomenon, it's not something that is that common, but it's increasing because it seems to be one of the ways by which a person is pushed into Self-Realization, deeper and deeper and faster and faster. No thoughts, no attempts to communicate, no attempts to contact, nothing, just only in deep, deep humility sitting with the Self. And every time the thought starts to emerge and the pain starts to emerge, back you go to the Soul, sit there quietly, connect, be humble, be with yourself. That's the only way that this can resolve. Yes. Thank you, Maya. Be in the presence of Maharishi Kapriti. Participate in an ancient yet futuristic transmission of knowledge. Receive answers. Receive strength. Singapore weekend, June 17th and 18th. Goa Immersive, June 30th to July 5th. Zurich Immersive, July 31st to August 5th. For more information and to register, click the link in the description box below.